Gary Martin. I'm with the Las Vegas Review Journal. I'm Washington correspondent. Um, doing a setup story for the weekend's paper about the inauguration that's coming up. It'll be the 58th inaugural activity or ceremony. And Donald J. Trump, once he's sworn into office, will become the 45th president of the United States. There's a lot of security planning going on right now. Um, federal government, federal agencies, the city of uh, District of Columbia is uh, taking part in preparations. There's going to be about $30 million spent by the city alone, which they expect to be reimbursed by the federal government. And that doesn't include the expenditures of federal agencies. Um, barriers have been put up. Terrorism has been a thought on their minds, but they think they're prepared. There will be key barriers to prevent any kind of truck uh, attacks that have happened in last year in, in France and in Germany. But there's supposed to be as many as 700,000 to a million people show up this weekend for, or next weekend for the event. And many of them will be here to celebrate the, the president's election um, and his taking office. There's also a lot of planned uh, protests and several hundred people from Nevada are coming up both for the inauguration and for the protests. Um, Senator Dean Heller said he's given away about 400 tickets to people who want to see the inauguration. And Deborah Harris, who is a uh, activist in Las Vegas, told me that there's several hundred people that might be coming up, coming up for the Women's March on Washington, which takes place the day after the inauguration. She said that protest is more about is not anti-Trump, but more about just spotlighting problems that are in America today. Please read my story in the Review Journal. Thanks.